All right, what's happening? It's Full Time Grind 79 back again with another video. Today's uh, topic is going to be about being patient and saving money so that you can build a successful sneaker collection without breaking the bank. Um, I picked up three sneakers from East Bay. Uh, all three sneakers, when they uh, released, were about $160 a piece, $159.99. Um, I knew I wanted all three of them, but I was patient, and I probably paid around one, $110, $119 for them, I think. And um, like I said, I uh, got three sneakers, like a little bit over $100, and saved probably about maybe $60 to $80 on the three pairs. I um, only got one, two pairs today. One's in the mail, but I didn't want to wait on, the, um, on that shoe to come, so... Here's the uh, first of the, where two of the, two out of the three. <clears throat> box. Okay, a big ass box. Let's cut myself. Damn, we got a box in a box. One of them, gotta cut up another boss. Okay. All right, there's everybody know it's a Jordan One box. This is a size ten. <laughs> These are the, the black with the red laces. Yeah, I really, I wanted these a lot when they first came out. I'm not gonna do a review them because y'all seen these many times. Come with the red laces, red Nike logo, really tumbled leather, all black. That's the first shoe. The, the right shoe mimics the, the left shoe, so you already know what that is. But that's the first Jordan one. <clears throat> All these damn boxes. Another Jordan One box. <laughs> I'm laughing at my daughter face every time she sees one of these boxes. That's a size 10, personal pair. I like the Jordan 1 boxes. They're, they're plain, but they're nice. All right. These are the Wheat Ones. Now I officially have all of the Wheat collection that came out in 2017. This is an all Wheat shoe. You've seen this before as well. Um, Real buttery suede, all wheat, gum bottom. Uh, they gave you some uh, wheat laces, wheat flat laces. They actually come with the the uh, rope laces. Good gracious, this thing don't want to operate, cooperate. But gave me the rope laces, but they got the wheat flat laces. I may switch them out to see what it looks like. But that's that shoe right there, man. And uh, on the up, I got the next shoe that's coming on the way. It should be here by Wednesday. Is the uh, sale color one, and. Uh, that's also had the, the tumble leather as well. So these are the two shoes that I picked up for uh, under, well under retail, about 110 a piece. Saved a lot of money so I can buy my next pickup. So that's that. So, you know, the best thing about, um, you know, being savvy is and being patient is the fact that, you, you know, you can get what you want at a lower price and, you know, Put some money to the side and save as well because you don't want to be spending all your money picking up shoes and clothes and all that kind of stuff because, you know, saving is just as important as spending or more important, actually. So um, that's the topic of the day. And then another thing, the best thing about the sneaker game now is that uh, you don't have to have shoes that came out this year to be, you know, relevant. Um, 
The best thing about the shoe game now is like, you know, you bring out some shoes that came out 10 years ago and they still clean, people still gonna give you love because they probably ain't got it in their collection, they probably been wanting it, and you got it and nobody else does. So, um, you know, back when I was coming up, you know what I'm saying, you had on a, a, a shoe that came out last year, you know, people might clown you because it came out last year and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't up to date. But now it's not like that. So, you know, be patient, save your money, uh, wait for them online sales and discounts and copy some nice sneakers and build your collection up and you ain't got to break the bank. You had the best sneakers in the, you know, probably in your school or, you know, uh, in your, in your little clique and that's it. So anyway, that's full time grind. And I'm out.